Hello and welcome back to my channel Mukesh Tech Up. So in today's video, I am going to discuss about the abstraction in Python. Abstraction is the property in Python and this is a pillar of object oriented programming that allows us to create abstract classes and abstract method. So I will help you understand what is the requirement of having abstract method and abstract classes. So let's say I have a bank account in some Apna bank. Okay. Now this bank has multiple kinds of account. First one is saving account, salary account, deposit account, PPF account or current account whatever. Okay. But these type of accounts has some similar functionality like deposit and withdraw. Okay. So instead of creating these methods multiple time in the subclasses, better we can define some abstract method in the parent class. But parent class don't provide any implementations for these abstract method. So the child class which is going to inherit these methods from the parent class, that class should provide internal implementation for these methods. All right. So or if you want to print some message for a particular type of account, you can put within the method. So abstract is the way to define the classes as abstract or method as abstract. So wherever is needed, we can directly inherit from the parent class and we can provide the implementation. So as part of today's video lecture, we will discuss about the abstraction in depth. We'll see how we can implement it using the practical examples. So, so far we have seen what is an abstraction and uh, what it does. Just let me recap it. Abstraction refers to the concept of hiding the internal implementation details of a class or object and exposing only the essential features or functionalities to the outside world. It allows us to focus on what an object does rather than how it does it. Okay. So if you want to declare a class as abstract class, you have to import this ABC module. Okay. And abstract method just to define the method as abstract. So this class inherits this ABC class. That's what this class called as abstract class. Also, I mentioned this class contains deposit and withdraw two methods. So just to mark them as abstract method, I need to use at the rate decorator here and it will be abstract method. Similar way for this withdraw method. Okay. So these methods are defined as abstract method, deposit and withdraw method. So this is the responsibility of the child classes. Those who are going to inherit this account class must provide the implementation for these methods, deposit and withdraw. Okay. So let me write one child class. Here is the child class savings account. This class inherits the account class and provided the implementation for this deposit method okay so deposit method comes from the parent class here this is the deposit method without any implementation but child class providing the implementation for this deposit method specific to the saving account okay so here we are just uh, uh, adding the balance self dot balance plus equals to amount so we are adding the amount and after that just printing deposit 1000 in saving account current balance is whatever the balance and for withdraw first i am checking if that account is having the sufficient balance or not if that is the case then i am withdrawing particular amount from that account and after that same print statement for showing to the user if that is not the case i will write else condition and say insufficient balance all right Similar way for this saving account, I just created one checking account class. This class inherits the account class. Also has two method, deposit and withdraw. Similar way, there is a one more class, investment account. Okay, inherits the account class, provide the implementation for the deposit and the withdraw. So you can see here, the parent class that is the account class defined a common functionality for all the child class that is the deposit method and withdraw method these class can contain 
other methods also for related to a specific functionality for that particular class but if this class wants deposit and withdraw method then directly it can take from this account class and provide the specific implementation here all right let us create the objects of these classes so here i provided the name as savings for the saving account i called deposit method on the savings class object and added 1000 as a balance and after that i'm just withdrawing using the withdraw method 200 all right similar way for the checking account i created one instance called a checking i invoked deposit method on this checking object and added 2000 balance and withdrawing 200 all right similar way for investment let me run this and we'll see what will be the output you can see here deposited 1000 this one line number 67 so it says 1000 got deposited in the saving account and current balance is 1000 all right and after that i am withdrawing 200 from the saving account so you you will see the uh, print message withdrew 200 in saving account while current balance is 800 and similar way for all of these instances of the class so what happened here we just use the abstract method all right we just use abstract method those were part of the parent class okay so in this example of account class act as an abstract base class abc using the abc module from the abc module it defines two abstract method deposit and withdraw which needs to be implemented by any concrete or child class derived from the account class all right so this was about the abstraction thank you so much guys for watching